Jameson, what did you feel like was working for you this afternoon? Uh, I thought my curveball was pretty good. Um, I thought early on the sinkers were really good. Got some quick outs there. Established the fastball inside. Um, yeah, a fastball curveball, I guess. Was your arm at all an issue? No, no. Um, really grateful for that. Uh, you know, four or five days ago, I was a little worried that maybe I'd broken something in my arm, and here I am today getting to pitch at Yankee Stadium. So uh, feeling really lucky for that. Nice to see the offense kind of put up some runs, get back to hitting the long ball a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I thought there were great at-bats all day today. Um, even when we were getting out and stuff, I thought we were working counts, um, really competitive at-bats throughout. Um, and, you know, I thought, you know, Marwin coming up with a big homer, Izzy coming up with a big homer. Um, it's cool to see guys like that, you know, stepping in and stepping up. Shocker, Aaron Judge had another <laughs> another homer. If you ask him, he'll tell you he's not worried about, you know, the records and all of that. But how dialed in are you guys here as you're watching it? Um, I don't know if we're dialed into, like, any sort of record. It's just fun to show up and watch him play every day. Um, I mean, he can hit any pitch out at any time. The yeah, at-bats are always competitive. He's a huge team guy. He plays defense. He shows up on the bases. Um, so it's been fun to be to be a part of. Um, and it seems like, I mean, I don't know the numbers, but it seems like every time I pitch, he hits a homer. So maybe I need to pitch more through through the end of the year or something. When you pitch and you have a guy like Aaron Judge at the backs, are you feel more comfortable? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's nice to play with him behind you. Um, there's maybe only a few guys throughout the league who are even close to, to coming, coming close to as big of a threat as he is. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's one swing of the bat can change a game anytime he's up there. You mentioned what a team guy he is. I mean, we see the home runs and everything. What do you see that, you know, the more subtle things about him that makes it different? Yeah, I mean, he's invested in what his, what his pitching staff's doing. Like, he comes up to us and talks pitching all the time. He'll talk sequencing with us. If he gets out, he's immediately rooting on the next guy. Um, and it's all genuine. It doesn't, you know, it's not like he's up there just doing it to say, look at me, I'm a good team guy. He genuinely is just that invested in everybody. You mentioned the excitement, especially in the IKF, the Marwin homers. Is that an extra boost when guys like that do something that typically they don't yeah, always do? Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's a boost period, but I think even just for them, it's probably a nice boost. Uh, you know, I think that was Izzy's second homer, and it seems like both times he's homered, it's been in big games, big situations. Um, you know, Marwin never knows when his name's going to be called, but steps up. Um, you know, if we could get those guys feeling boosted and, you know, just feeling like they're a really big part of it, um, I think that's important, too. Yeah, so where were you trying to go with that uh, Sanchez pitch? Uh, I was trying to go in, and we got it in or half, but we didn't get it in, in. Um, and that's the only pitch I threw him today, I think. I threw him all sinkers the first at-bat, all sinkers the second at-bat, I think. Um, so I think we maybe just went to the well one too many times. Uh, he didn't miss it.